Coming up on today's show, we take a look at our early childhood education course as well as an anti-vaping PSA. Stay tuned, you're watching Roar TV. Good morning, Oviedo. My name is Savannah Rodriguez. And I'm Brooke Tyler. Today is Wednesday, October 9th, 2019. If you haven't already, make sure to grab the first edition of this year's Lion's Tale newspaper, which will be distributed today. We also just found out that this year's Back to School broadcast won an All Florida Award. Let's get the show started. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oviedo has numerous career and technical programs to choose for an elective, but one you might not realize is an option is early childhood education. This class allows you to actually help run a preschool and recently just had their open house for the children that will be attending this year. Let's head over to Edward Grillo for more information. Oviedo High School has a wide variety of career and technical programs, including a childhood education program and its included Little Lions Preschool for children. Every year, however, it takes a team in order to set it up for both the students of the program and the students that are the teachers with a special theme. This year's theme is Enchanted Forest. Well, when we set up the preschool, we like to do things that go around a theme. So this year our theme is going to be um, Enchanted Forest, sort of, and we're going to have all the different fairy tales, but we're also including not just the girly fairy tales, but stuff for the boys who don't like as much girly things. We meet each child's needs with, even just with a the theme. The school doesn't just meet children's needs. It also meets the needs of those in the community as well as students in Oviedo High School and helps them figure out what exactly they want to do in their life. Um, I think that the preschool is mainly here for like the high schoolers and the people in the community. Like, it helps, like, for me, I didn't really know what I wanted to do for my future, but then when I came here and I saw like this program, I saw that this was amazing and it has helped me find my way. It isn't just the fact that it gives people a direction or a career goal. It also gives a sense of community and forms a family within the team. The level fours are always working together, even when it's something as simple as working on decorations. It gets everyone together and it helps, like we do like the homecoming day parade, everyone is like basically in the preschool, we're one big family. Furthermore, the program also offers students the ability to have certifications in childcare, so as soon as they leave, they'll be able to join the workforce. During level one, they are taking all of their Department, and children, department of Children and Families um, coursework so that they can be able to be employed in a preschool. So they do all of that in their level one portion of their class. Um, and then as they move into level two, they can start working with the children. If you're interested in working with children or just testing the waters to see what you want to do in life, the Childhood Education Program may offer insight into a potential career path for you. For Roar TV, I'm Edward Grillo. Oviedo Competitive Cheer will be selling Haggerty Who shirts for $15 until October 9th. You can purchase them in the Commons during lunch, Coach Boucher's room 8-210, Coach Boardman's room 1-202, or ask any varsity cheerleader. The week leading up to the game, there will be a limited number of shirts sold as well. If you're interested in playing boys soccer, there will be an informational meeting Wednesday, October 9th in Coach Wisen's room 12-017. Are you a good Smash Bros player? The Lion Esports Club has a few spots open for the Smash Bros competition taking place here at Oviedo High School during Tech Fest on Friday, October 18th. The top three finalists from each period will receive an invitation to represent Oviedo High School against 16 other high schools on November 23rd at the Full Sail Fortress. Please see Ms. Krupika in Building 8, Room 214 for more information and how to sign up. You do not have to be a member of the Lion Esports Club to compete. There will be an art club meeting today after school in room 5-022. There will be an ASL meeting this Thursday. All members must attend. 
Mr. Cap will hold a brief meeting after school Wednesday to discuss sodium chloride reverse osmosis water filtration systems within the jacuzzi and pool setups for Building 8. Pink out shirts are available in the Commons today and for the rest of the week until they sell out for $10. This year we will wear pink for Miss Petchel as we support her on her journey with breast cancer. Refuge will meet today at lunch in Miss Latimer's room 10-001. Come join them during either lunch for some fellowship and encouragement. All meetings are open to everyone. Wednesday, October 16th, OHS will be administering the SAT for all seniors and the PSAT to all underclassmen. All students should plan to arrive at campus by 710, even if you have a first period off campus. Remember to bring a number two pencil and good erasers, a calculator and a small snack for the test day. Proctors will not have calculators to share. Students must bring their own calculator. Have you ever dreamed of competing in an athletic event or finishing first in a race? some people didn't get a chance to watch the news yesterday. In case you didn't, you probably missed our promotional skit for Roar TV's Halloween special. Let's take a quick look at what some of our students are working hard to produce. Wow. I know, right? That movie was just... It was so scary. Right? Yeah. I don't... And the, the, the scene with the, the trunk. The, the trunk. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't know what I would have done. Finished the, uh, the English project yet? No, I haven't even started. No, me neither. Miss Smith, she's... Totally gonna kill me on Monday. Yeah, same. I completely pressed this Spanish grade is like, it's suffering. I mean, hey, you should take him French. Wait. My name is Dominic here with your O-Town Update. Last night, freshman JV Girls Volleyball defeated Lake Highland Prep in three sets. The freshman team was led by Emma Teji and Azalea Martinez. JV was led by Kylie Love and Mackenzie Cox. Varsity fell 25-17, 25-20, and 25-20. Tonight, boys golf competes against Spruce Creek at DeBerry Country Club at 3.30 p.m. And swimming travels to Lake Brantley at 4 p.m. Go Lions! That's all we have for you today, Oviedo. Have a great Wednesday. And as always, Go, go Lions! Lions.